Today marks the first day on a month-long journey around Southeast Asia. If you were doing an Australian trip, it would not be complete without a trip to Bali. Reese got the window seat, so I am trying to sneak a peek at the first sights of the land. <laughs> We finally landed, making it the first time I have ever been in Asia. We are so excited! It was cool to see the differences of the country right away. We have heard it described as the Mexico of Australia. A place where cheap beer and stunning accommodation meets a place where monkeys roam and humidity is off the charts. I will say I was very impressed with the driving here. The roads are so tiny and narrow, and people are still zipping around each other with ease. It may be crowded, and the streets barely legal, but it's Bali. Come along with us on our nine-day journey around Bali, where we are first going to the center of the island, called Ubud. Finding a ride was a bit chaotic, but once we were on the road, we were just soaking in all the cool art, architecture, and temples. My name is Reese, and that's Missy. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because you love us and we love you. And that's what loved ones do. Please return our calls. Just like that. All it takes to become a millionaire is to go to Bali. Three million dollars. Three mil, baby, we rolling in it. Oh. Made it finally yeah. to our Airbnb. It's been a long travel day. Traveling to and from the airport, always pretty brutal. Here, ready? Ready, I'm gonna slap you with it. Oh, Three Jesus. million. That was really hard. I feel assaulted. <laughs> Here, I'll show the room. Here's the room, bed. Where the magic happens. Sleeping. And then we've got our little fridge right here. This is actually really cool. The like doorway, entryway into the bathroom. It's like you step through. Oh, that's the way out. And here's the bathroom. Like, whoa. This thing looks sweet. Look at that thing. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Balcony. Oh, we open this side. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm hungry. Yeah. Yeah. I okay, we're gonna we we gotta go eat. Everybody. Okay, so today first we went to the monkey forest. I think Reese is a little nervous. It's really slippery here. in heaven for. I love primates and it was a blast of a time. Yeah, we got there right when it opened. So when we got there, it was like pretty empty and we were able to, she was like probably the one interacting with the monkeys the most.
rained super hard for a little while and we got absolutely drenched, but that was okay because he got some really great moments with monkeys. Heaven, actually. <laughs> Towards the end, yeah, I got super busy. Um, so we hopped out of there at like, I don't know, 11, 12. Oh, gosh, yes. Like there's something watching me. I panic in the presence of stone eyes around every corner. Oh, forgotten gods, they are closing in, melting into my mind a chaos of carnivorous fiends. They wish to feast on my soul, to pull from me the essence of life so they can live again. I must leave, but the fear grips me. Help. I must escape the eyes, laughing, laughing eyes of stone. Oh God, I'm laughing. I'm doing it. Monkeys help me. Monkeys. That's a big leaf. Oh my God. Um, then we went to this awesome vegetarian oh place. Oh my God. So good. I was so surprised with it. Pretty spicy, and the whole thing was only like 150. So yeah, it was really cheap. It was like 10 three, bucks for both three of us. US dollars. Yeah, and then we got juice. <laughs> juice, yeah, but they gave you like so many different options of dishes. I'm a slut for pineapple juice. Okay, where I did something for the first time. Um, I'm not very good at bargaining, but we went to the market and we had to bargain. So I channeled, good. I choked a couple of times, but you always have the next person to go for. Um, and at the end of the day, it's just all in good fun. I got quoted by somebody for pants. They said 250 and I was like, what? I panicked, I didn't say anything, moved on. Then we went to this one lady and she was so nice. She was like, oh, please name prize, just name prize. I kept trying to get it down to 100 and she wouldn't do it. Um, but at the end of the day, I wasn't gonna buy something unless Missy was gonna buy something. So we go around and then we hit this one lady um, and she was really nice off the bat. And she said, this is 180 I'll give it to you for like 150 or something and I was like 100 and she was like 130 and I was like 100 <laughs> and she was like 120 and I go 110 <laughs> And then she laughed and then... It's all, it's all fun and games, honestly. I'm usually one to panic in those moments, but when I did see a video once that told me it's just a good-natured kind of hustle, um, that kind of helped me ease myself in a little bit. It seems silly because it's just social confrontation, but we're Americans. We also went for a swim today. So nice. Like, the, the temp of the water and the air is pretty much exactly the same, but the like background of the fields, the grass, I don't know what you would call those, oh, rice fields. Oh, so good. It was really pretty. It was relaxing. It's me. We're like right in the center of town, but it's like a nice little oasis.
last night. Yeah, <laughs> they go a little hard out there on the streets. He was out by like 9 p.m. I oh, was up 9 p.m. It was 10. I was up till maybe 1 a.m. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I should go out there. Uh, but now, now we're watching the sunset. Look at this. Very pretty. We're gonna go get massages. It's about six dollars each. Massages and then get dinner. We're gonna get Indian food. In Delish. Bali. I'm here. I'm here for the food. But anyway, that was first day in Ubud. Just doing stuff around town. Next time, we got for you Bali East. Also, you should totally subscribe too. That would be cool. Like the video, subscribe, comment if you've been to Bali. I know you Australians, yes. you Australians, and you're a Bali. I know you really like it. Tell us which spots you went to. Anywho, bye. Yeah.